Hi, everybody. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two BBS specials. Here today to bring you another in a series of short videos that I'm creating that are designed to help you bring more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. Today I want to bring some clarity to the concept of what we do for a living. What is our life like at work and how can we be more influential in this area so that that experience that we spend so much time in is meaningful. And for those of you who are not in the world of work yet, you're still thinking about that, um, my hope is this material will help you think about the world of work in a different way. It's drawn and inspired really by Seth Godin. He's written several books that I really find fascinating. The first was called Tribes. Most recently, he's written two books called The Lynchpin and The Icarus Deception. In these books, he looks at how to make ourselves indispensable, how to be the one who cannot be outsourced, and how to make our work art. By daring to fly close to the sun and not falling too close to the way. He has written some wonderful quotes about art as work, work as art. I want to read them to you and see what you think. He says, art isn't only a painting. Art is everything that is creative, passionate, and personal. You'll find that word personal coming up a lot in his work. An artist is someone who uses bravery, insight, creativity, and boldness to challenge the status quo. An artist takes it personally. Art is a personal gift that changes the recipient. The medium doesn't matter. The intent does. Art is a personal act of courage, something one human does that creates change in another. Art is the act of doing work that matters while dancing with the voice in your head that screams at you to stop. And I love this one. Art is vulnerability without the prospect of shame. Vulnerability without the prospect of shame. Unfortunately, I think we have taught to, been taught to fear shame and fit in versus be vulnerable and do art. He says, we've been brainwashed by school, indoctrinated by industrial propaganda, and mesmerized by the popular media into believing that compliance is not only safe and right, but necessary. And what he suggests is that it's not necessary and that it actually gets in the way of us doing our art and puts us in the position of being outsourced. Because there's another quote that I love. He says, someone can always do your job a little better, a little faster, a little cheaper than you can. But if your work is your art, a personal reflection of who you are. The only person who can do that better than you is a future you. So what I'm hoping you're getting from this is that we can begin to look at what we do, not just what is what we get paid to do for somebody else, so that then we can have fun on the weekend or the vacation, but a personal statement about who we are, our work as art. I believe when we do that, the experience of doing our work becomes more meaningful. The quality of our work becomes uh, more significantly contributive to the good of ourselves and others, and our life is better for it. I hope you found this valuable. I try to keep these videos short. Here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. And by the way, if you want me to come and create a a presentation for you, your organization around this concept, around dealing with stress, around dealing with difficult people, or if you would like to learn more about my system on how the brain processes information, because what we're talking about here is actually the upper part of the brain being able to make work art. If you want to know more about that, you can go to my website, Bill Crawford, phd.com. You can put your name and address on that first page, and I will send you four free videos on this subject. Again, I hope that you found this valuable. Here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.